Hey guys, Ryan here, and today I'm going to bring you another video in the Minotaur KV-5. So, obviously this is my primary silver earning tank, hence why I'm playing it for this game. Um, although I, if I remember correctly, I think I forgot to activate the times 2 silver boost, which is a bit of a shame, because I've got over 350 of them, and I'm trying to get rid of some of them. But, I'm in the KV-5 Minotaur, I'm in a platoon with Felix and Spandex, I believe Felix is in his Hydra IS-6. And uh, Spandex is in his T-54 Mod 1. Now, in this matchup, as you'll see, it's a tier 9 game. There's no artillery, which is really nice, but they have a lot of heavy tanks. And the issue for me is, three of those heavy tanks are E-75s and an ST-1, which are obviously very awkward to pan very well armoured heavy tanks, so, um, and unfortunately I'm going to run into uh, a couple of them. Now I know I upload quite a few uh, KV-5 videos, that's because being my primary silver earner I play a lot of games in it, but don't even worry about that, I'm actually going to have a replay up later today of a tank that I do not believe I've ever featured on the channel, which is the IS-4. So, if anybody's interested in that, it's actually, of all the Russian heavy tanks in the game, what I believe to be the best of all of them, tech tree wide. I've not played the 260, but compared to the 705A, the IS-7, the 277, and the IS-4, I personally believe that the IS-4 is the best tank out of all of them. But anyway, I'll um, talk more about the IS-4 in that video. So, Minotaur KV-5, I'm taking a rather safe position to begin with, um, on the hill, because I'm not quite sure where I want to move to yet. And I always like to go center because, um, on encounter mode, because then you can wait to see where the enemy is, because on encounter mode, the worst thing you can do is, if you go to the opposite side of the map to the capture circle, there's a chance that the enemy might try and cap straight away, and then you'll get capped out, and the game will be over in three minutes. Um, so going to the center of the map just allows you to move to the cap circle if needed, because ideally I prefer not the cap in a game of tanks. So I'm at the center ridge here, and I've got a Conqueror with me. Um, funny thing is, I'm pretty sure the last replay I did in a KV-5 was the Garnet's KV-5. I also was working with a Conqueror on my team to help uh, defeat the enemies. So it's quite funny that I've got another Conqueror here. So I missed that shot. Um, I got penned once. I am going to get now a nice easy side shot. I'm pretty sure that was a high explosive shell he fired at me as well, which is a bit weird. So I lost about 700 hit points, which isn't ideal. Now there's a Conqueror who came over the ridge to my left. The team are getting a couple of shots into him. But as I back up, an E75 is going to track me in front of the ST1. Thankfully the ST1 doesn't pan me, and that's because I can tell by the look of his turret, and by the look of the muzzle brake on the cannon, that he is not fully upgraded. So it doesn't have the... Um, 122mm gun with the 440 alpha and the 258mm penetration. But, the reason I'm going to bring you this video is it's not a great result, but if you look, I'm already done the 200 hit points and I've only done 300 damage. However, what you're going to see is I'm not going to give up and I'm actually going to be able to pull a decent result from it. So I'm going to put the shot, I'm going to hide behind the Conqueror. Now, the reason I'm hiding behind the Conqueror is he cannot be killed in one shot, whereas I can. Now, this might sound like common sense, but... You'll all be aware of it, you've all seen the time when um, someone's going to be killed in one shot, there's another teammate who can't be killed in one shot, and the teammate with more hit points hides behind the one who's going to die. Don't do that. Um, hide behind someone if they've got the hit points to take it and you don't. Other than that, just don't be that guy, you know? Use your hit points effectively and efficiently. Because by me staying alive, is allowing me to help this dude, so rather than just hindering him, by hiding behind him, I'm actually helping him, because I'm still alive and I can help him shoot these people. The ST1 bounces me again, and that's because, with him having the not fully upgraded gun, his aim time, and even with the upgraded gun, his aim time is horrible, so if I stayed on the move there, you could see his turret moving to aim at me, and I knew that his aiming reticle would be really large, due to the horrible um, dispersion stats on that tank. I do have the premium loaded, because as I said, A75 and ST1s are amongst the heavily ar heaviest armoured tanks at tier 9. And the T49 kills in 4s, and now me and the Conqueror can move forward. I 
I'm gonna have like a very small pixel to aim at, at the side of the cupola, and thankfully the shell flies well and truly straight right into him. So I'm gonna do it, I think I'm gonna try and get one more shot in and then just change back to the AP rounds, now that the uh, ST1 is dead. But yeah, so I'll, I'm down to 200 hit points before, like, I'd only done 300 damage by the time I got the 200 hit points, but I still start playing the game, because you've all have seen it. Um, perhaps you yourself, or someone on your team, at the start of a game, will get hit four times by tanks and get put down to a one shot, or a single artillery shell will put them down to a one shot, and you'll just see them stop moving. And they'll stop playing, and they'll quit, because they'll be angry. Never, never quit. Because, as you're going to see this game, it's going to be an amazing game, but it's going to be a decent game, considering. And that's the thing, as long as you stay playing, there's always the chance um, that you can have a good game. You see, I look at the Conqueror and tell him to follow me, and now here comes an M103. I'm going to angle, I'm going to drive past him, and now I'm going to use the back of my tank try and angle against him because the back of my tank doesn't have the big weak point on it with the um, turret where the radio man is. As you see, with my back to him, I do manage to bounce him. And the Conqueror did help me, so again, me and that Conqueror, again, for some reason, me and KV-5s just happen to work well with Conquerors. I don't know why, but apparently Conqueror drivers are nice people. <laughs> At least for me. Now, I normally on 200 hit points, but there's a 257, and he's going to start driving towards Spandex. Now, if you guys know me, you'll hear me in all videos about I like to ram things. Now, I'm on the top of the hill, the 257's at the bottom of the hill, and I'm in a KV-5, so I think you can all see where this is going. Because um, I don't care that I'm 200 hit points, if I can get, if I can ram something, I'm going to ram something. And it's actually be quite funny because um, I'm super excited at this point. Now, I just want you to imagine how excited I am to ram this guy. Just imagine. Super excited. He's a, he's a light heavy tank. He don't weigh much. And I'm going to get downhill on him. And he tracks me. So, very sad time for... Oh, I was so excited when he tracked me. <laughs> I'm going to get a little bit of a ram. Um, before picking up the kill with a Capola shot. But... Um, no, I was quite upset there. I like, I was like a child with how excited I was to get a full speed ram downhill on him, but of course he tracked me. Which, for any of you who's watching, if a KB-5 is coming downhill at you, tracking them is definitely the right thing to do. Don't be tempted to shoot for his weak point on the front to get damage. Track them. That's So we did the right thing, but it still annoys me. 110,000 silver profit without any silver boost, because I forgot to activate them. Only a first class, a steel wolf, 2500 block, 2700 damage, and a thousand assistance. And again, most of that damage and assistance all came when I was on 200 hit points. But I stayed in the game, I came top on XP, and the Conqueror who I was with actually came top on damage. So, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one.